Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Beep. 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 I'm just backing up there. When was the last time you backed up? Your computer, your, your files, your data, your car. Backing up is important to do. And I'm guessing that you haven't done it at all. If you have done it at all, it probably hasn't been in the past couple of weeks. And you should have. Maybe you're just waiting for tips on backing up. And that's cool because I got a top five list from Josh, a member of our community at YouTube and at live.perillo.com where all these people are chatting live right now as we're streaming live audio and video out over the internet with me sitting in front of my monitors with a fancy screensaver going on behind me. Top five backup tips. Number one, only backup important data. That's important to note. You may think you have to back up everything, and in some cases you might want to, but does it really make sense to back up programs if they can be reinstalled or programs that come with the operating system? Not so much, because they can always be restored, you know, either by re-downloading or reinstalling. Uh, you know, you're just wasting space on the backup drive. So you really only want to back up the things that are most important to you. And my suggestion, recommendation for everybody along these lines, uh, I keep every one of my um, personal files, business files, files that I've edited or created, they're in my documents folder. Everything is in there, uh, including some files I've downloaded from the internet and want to reinstall that I may forget at some point, but now I know where they're at. Uh, they're all in there too. Uh, and the reason why I keep it in one folder is because, hey, I know which one I got to back up. Everything else, there's some data sitting throughout the rest of the drive that I may want to copy to, and that's not as easy to track, unfortunately, uh, because programs handle things differently. Uh, like, uh, for instance, uh, my instant messenger keeps everything inside a data folder uh, in the user's directory or hierarchy inside of Windows. So I always have to remember to copy that out when I back things up. Uh, but, you know, just get your routine and stick with your routine, uh, but try to keep it all into uh, one area and do your best to organize it. However you organize it, just do it the way you do it and then stick with that plan. Number two, don't back up to only one specific drive. Many people often back up their information to one specific drive and think they're safe. Chances are the drive they backed up to will fail at some point. And the best way to back up your information is back up to multiple drives. But not just a multiple, I'd never back up to a hard drive in the same system. Never, ever. If anything, I back up to an external hard drive, move it away from the system, or back up to another computer on the network, that way it's in a different room, or I also back up to a drive and then take it over to a, well, a relative's house, he's got it over there. We've also got a couple safety deposit boxes, so I've got redundancy for my personal data. For my web data, and this is kinda, it's, it's interesting. Um, you know, I've got backup, of course, for our web server, but uh, I upload a lot of my photos to like social services like Flickr, so all my photos are there. And you know they may go down, I don't know, Yahoo's gonna disappear anytime soon. And then most of the videos that I do, if not all of them, are on YouTube. Quality's not amazing, but you know we're typically recording from this live video feed, and I'd say that you know the, the live video feed is pretty good quality since we're doing this video live. So I, YouTube's backing up my videos. Uh, Flickr is backing up my photos. I keep all my documents, you know, in as many safe places as I possibly can. Um, it's just uh, something to think about, uh, you know, starting to store your this kind of information on the internet. Got to be careful when you trust brands, even like YouTube or Yahoo. I trust them, but you know, I, I gosh, I hope they are around a hell of a lot longer than I am. Number three, protect your backup drives. Sometimes your hard drives will fail and you'll lose your data. There are some ways you can avoid this from happening to you. To prevent a hard drive from failure, make sure it's in healthy condition. Uh, defragging a drive will sometimes tell you if there's something wrong. Uh, getting some kind of smart disk utility will allow you to see how well or how healthy that drive is doing. Um, it's, uh, it's very important to watch the health of your hard drive. If you start hearing it do wacky things, and you'll hear it too. I mean, there's different things that can happen to a hard drive. You'll hear it fail in different ways. Sometimes it whirs, sometimes it whirs and clicks, sometimes it. Well, it doesn't exactly sound like that, but you get the idea. If something sounds weird inside the computer, it might be your hard drive. In which case, uh, back up quickly. 
or just slap yourself for not having backed up earlier. Number four, uh, back up as many times as you can. And that's important too. Uh, how frequently do you need to back up? Some backups I do once a year, and those are the ones I take off site uh, because I don't really do a lot of new things on my computer. Most of my email is stored on the server, um, so I'm not worried about that. A lot of the documents that I need have already been backed up elsewhere. Um, you know, my media is now published to the web. So for me, backing up off site only needs to happen once a year. Backing up locally uh, is a little more frequent. Um, because it, if I know I, I need to roll back to something, I can go back to it, which is kind of the genius of Apple's Time Machine. Yes, fine, I'm an Apple fanboy, but as far as Time Machine is concerned, amazing. Click once, it's set it and forget it. Uh, automatically backs up, makes revisions of files that you can go back to. Genius idea from Apple. Uh, some people would argue, uh, I, I think they're incorrect in arguing this, but they'd say that Windows has volume shadow copy, which... Uh, they say is exactly like Time Machine, but as Snake Eyes 11 in our chat room just said, it sucks. It's horrible. Most people don't even know that it's there, and that only furthers my point. It, it's pretty bad. And if you can't even find it or you didn't even know what it was, well, then it's even worse than it is itself. Any old way, moving along. Number five, know which drives to use. Drives, such as flash drives, are a great way to back up small things, such as documents or even programs, depending on the size of the flash drive. Uh, they can range from 16 megabytes all the way up to 32 gigs. If you're thinking about backing up things such as movie files or music, um, you know, bigger files, then, uh, well, he recommends going to using an external hard drive, which I use. I've done a review on one of my favorite external hard drive cases. And um, I'm, I'm happy with it. It's got plenty of connections on it. Uh, if you use an external hard drive, be very cognizant of the connections that are on it. USB 2.0, ubiquitous. I mean, just about every computer has USB 2. If I had a choice between using or backing up to a Firewire versus USB, I'd use Firewire. It tends to be faster, less CPU overhead. Definitely Firewire 800, because that's faster than Firewire 400, which is the one that you've likely seen. And then if possible, eSATA, external SATA. And the beauty of eSATA is that you can have an eSATA connection externally, and that hard drive will run at the same speed as if it was internal in the computer. eSATA is great. I mean, it's going to replace you know everything. And if your computer does not have eSATA built into it on the motherboard, you can buy a card. You can add eSATA to your system so long as it you know can support SATA to begin with. So uh, these are really good tips to, to keep in mind when it comes to backing up. Uh, you you got to back up and stick with it. Because uh, you may start it one way, as I said in the beginning, and then change your mind and do it another way, and that does you no good. Doesn't do you any good. Stick with a routine, but get the routine in the first place, and don't use tapes. Does anybody still use tapes to back up? What are you laughing at, Ponzi? What are you doing? Do you right or left with it? My wife, in the middle of giving this tip, decided that she was going to make me an ice cream cone with a cherry on top. With a cherry on top. You do such a great job. Oh, is this, a, this is my reward for doing videos tonight? You deserve a treat. All right. Well, if anybody else out there has got any tips to share uh, with computing tasks, or maybe you've got top five tips that aren't related to technology at all, maybe it has something to do with ice cream, I don't know. Mm. Mm. That's good. You know, we just. This is fitting. Yeah, but we just got back from the dentist getting our teeth filled because of stuff like this. No sugar. I appreciate. No sugar. What's in it? Okay, that was a tiny bit of a lie. Oh, that's a half, lie? Half the fat. All right, anyway. So I got to let everybody I gotta let everybody go so I can finish this. My email address is chris at com, And if you want to stop by the chat room, you never know what's going to gonna happen. What we're going to show in front of the computer. We're typically talking tech 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later. It was the cherry that did it. You wouldn't have wanted it, but it had the cherry.